All right. Well, we are six minutes in, still no Steve, um, but I don't want to keep anyone else waiting who might be watching. So I think we should probably go ahead and convene and hopefully he'll join in in a moment here. Um, Tom Weidman, do we have you there? You're muted. So I want to make sure you, there we go. Hi, Tom. Jim, you're muted also. So let's go ahead and call this to order. I gavel here now. Are we streaming now also? Yes. As to All right, very good. We'll call this public hearing to order. This is a public hearing in relation to uh, matter number, I'm sorry, uh, SYCB190013 regarding a proposed consent decree for that Board of Zoning Appeals case. The public hearing was uh, duly noticed and scheduled for this evening at 6 p.m. For those of you just now seeing us, we had a few technical issues getting some people joined in to the hearing, but we have now convened. Uh, let the record show that all three trustees are here, along with our planning and zoning director, Skylar Miller, our administrator, Ray Warwick, several attorneys and, and others, and my dog in the other room, if you can hear that too. So uh, to get started here, uh, my understanding is there's reason not to continue with the hearing right now and that there's been talk of uh, tabling it from parties on all sides. Let me turn this over to Scott Salman, who's the township's attorney in this matter. Scott, can you bring us up to speed, please? Yes, I think um, obviously the consent has been available at the township since we you know, put, published this notice for today's public hearing. Um, but in order to provide additional time for the developer uh, to potentially, my understanding is that they are in the home stretch with respect to finalizing a home builder, which would, I think, bring a lot of clarity um, uh, and necessary um, information to the residents to provide additional time. We would request that it be continued for two weeks until, um, I, I believe, the 16th of February so that uh, additional negotiations and hopefully some finalization of the home builder, which would really bring a lot of uh, um, clarity to the, the remainder of this in the site and I probably answer a lot of questions that some of the residents may have um, according. And this is all with re, with the understanding that I've been in, in communications with uh, the, the developers council, as well as Steve Hunt, who is representing the HOAs involved in some of the other residents as well. Yeah, this Scott Solman's talking right now. Let, let me ask a question, and Steve, again, you're, thank you for muting. Um, it, you said continuance for two weeks. I saw some email traffic earlier possibly suggesting longer than that. Is two weeks enough time here? I know the Neighborhood Association wanted at least 10 days to review whatever revisions might come out of this, and there's another public hearing currently set for two weeks out also, I think, that may consume a lot of time. Well, I, I think from at least talking to the developer, it wouldn't be a bad thing to have this continued for two weeks just to keep everyone's feet to the fire. And if it, you know, at that time it's necessary to kind of do the same thing we're doing today, then, you know, push another two weeks out. Um, it would be my recommendation or request. All right. Um, well, we can entertain a motion as to that. If one of the other trustees would like to make a motion to continue. I thought uh, the talk this afternoon was that uh, Scott, that maybe, I don't want to, that they were talking about March 2nd, continuing to March 2nd. That's what I had heard. There was some talk about that this afternoon to give everybody more time. I didn't, March 2nd was raised. It wasn't discussed with, with any other council with, from my perspective. I mean, I think it's probably at your discretion, um, but, uh, you know, I'm just telling you as far as the developer, I think they wanted Ideally, but it, it, you know, like I said, if you guys want to, I, th I I tend to agree with you that, you know, the chances of, you know, if, if in fact the 10 days now that, and that was the first I've heard of that too, getting information to the HOAs 10 days. I think that was the first that actually uh, the HOA council, at least my understanding had heard about that today, but that doesn't leave us a lot of time if that's going to be complied. So, it, you know, it might make sense to, to push it to March 2nd, but um, again, I, whatever whatever needs to happen in, in order to you know not <laughs> i guess lose all the work that's been put into this to where it's gotten us to this point i'll leave it to your guys discretion i, I think march 2nd is most request that, that we uh we table this till this march 2nd that's i got no problem with that now actually knowing that that we can reach out to that because there's a, currently a 
a, a date set with uh, the court of common pleas, we can reach out to them and find and continue that and push that out as well. Okay. So I, I got a problem with that. Is so Topper, if that was Topper, question, go ahead. Is Topper Tepe there? I thought he was online also. Here. Due to technical difficulties, I am sharing a cell phone, uh, Mr. LaBarbera. Uh, are you okay, Topper, with uh, going to March 2nd? Uh, I know my client would prefer uh, to move it to the 16th to keep the pressure on, but I also understand uh, it's at your, at your discretion. We're working really, really hard, and we're going to continue to work hard to bring this home, and everyone, uh, hard work will come to fruition. So we would prefer the 16th. But if uh, you believe that March 2nd gives you guys the best opportunity to uh, analyze this and Mr. Hunt's client to analyze it, I'll have to defer to your discretion. Let, let me ask Mr. Hunt, since you're on the line representing HOA is here, uh, do you have any input on that? This is not sworn testimony from anyone here since we haven't formally convened that part of the hearing, but if we're considering tabling it from the HOA's perspective, is March 2nd a better bet? You're muted, Steve. There you go. Yeah, sorry. March 2nd would be fine with us. All right. I would suggest that seems to be the most prudent here. That'll allow a little more time for the HOAs. Uh, also, again, I think there's another matter set for two weeks out that may take a considerable amount of time at hearing too. So just from a workflow perspective with the hearings and for the public who may want to have input, that would probably work better. Is there a motion as to March 2nd on the floor from anyone? Yeah, I'll, I'll put a motion on the floor that uh, we move this table this to until March 2nd at six o'clock. I'll second. All right, any further discussion? Well, then uh, let's call the roll. We don't have Mr. Porter on this particular hearing, so uh, I will call the roll. Mr. Weedman. Aye. Mr. LaBarbera. Aye. And Mr. James. Aye. In that case, is, is there any further business to conduct in relation to this hearing? Motion to adjourn. Thank you for your time. We appreciate it. You're Thank welcome. you, gentlemen. I'll second Thank that you. motion. Thank All you. in favor of adjourning? Aye. And I'm going to assume Mr. Weedman's in favor, even though he dropped off already. So I'll vote aye also. We are adjourned. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Take care. Thanks Thanks a lot. Thanks, Steve. Good seeing you. Thank you. Yeah, same here.